what is going on today youtube hope you guys are doing fantastic today's video wednesdays is going to be on junglers and their kind of new builds their new guides walkthroughs starters stuff like that just gonna be kind of talking about that this week is just gonna be all guide stuff for each specific role in patch 11.5 just to kind of catch you guys up let you guys know kind of what the meta is and yeah let's just jump right into the junglers so starting with the starter items boomba's eye mannequins and warding sigil i've seen a little bit of warding sigil uh, kind of popping up in you know ideas behind maybe junglers can use it personally i think it's just so bad it's like the same issue in solo lane except instead of having an issue with fighting 1 to 19 you have an issue clearing from like 1 to 10 and then depending on your build and what you end up going it can scale beyond that if you build a little bit more defensive but i think warding sigil is just a bait like in every role so i'm gonna get rid of it Mannequins, another thing, I just don't think Mannequins is very good. I think if you're playing Arachne, maybe something like Nem, it can be good. I, I don't think it's bad, per se, but I think it's very specific. I think most gods will just use Boombas or I better. Like, just flat out the stats on the item. 10 basic attacks, 7 attack speed, versus power, physical protection, HP 5, or a bunch of sustain, power and health, and a little bit of mana. Boomba's stats aren't that great either, but at least you get that extra health pot than you do with Mannequins. I do think Mannequins has its niche, and I think it's not bad, but it, I think it is like that third tier. Because when you look at the current builds, I and Boomba's just make a lot more sense as that starter. So we'll start with talking about just both of them together, and then we'll move into like those first items. I is like a little bit better for fighting in the early game, and depending on what your build is looking like, there's really not a massive difference between either of these two items. I definitely fight slightly better early. But Boomba's is a lot better for like full damage builds when it goes late game. You have that cooldown, that pen, or you have that cooldown reset on Boomba's hammer. I have the jungle is basically just good stats. Just good power, some protections, a little bit of survivability in the jungle on protector, and then Seer's just a little bit more damage on objectives. They're both like good. There, There's really no, you build this one specifically all the time it's just god dependent some gods will be liking boombas a little bit more some gods will be liking i a little bit more i will say with the current build and moving down to the first items i feels a lot better because of just how good blackthorn is right now and i blackthorn early game makes it so you have a little bit of protections but you also have a ton of health on top of those protections this buff to blackthorn makes no sense for how good assassins utilize it now in the jungle never running out of mana always gonna be having what 350 health more than is expected out of a jungler. You'll be doing slightly less damage. You'll have five power more, but you have 10 less flat pen. And then you also are, are not going to be having that 20% cooldown. But the survivability you get from Blackthorns is just insane. And it's like, Yones isn't bad by any means, but it's very easy to kill a Yones jungler. It's very hard to kill a Blackthorn jungler. They, they just have so much health and they still do a ton of damage. A bunch of builds I'm seeing right now are just this, Blackthorn into Soul Leader, and then go whatever other items you need. Serrated, Heartseeker. I've even seen a little bit of Hydras off of it also because it just gives you another 10% cooldown and then 10% pen on top of it. And you get good power out of these items. The Hydras proc is going to be doing a ton, but it kind of makes up for your slightly lower power by getting that extra auto damage. And then you can just go like Serrated into Heartseeker and then with an eye, with a protector of the jungle, you'll be sitting at 2,700 health, you'll be sitting at 100 and something protections of each, and you'll be sitting at 200 something power. So there's a lot of value in the builds currently, especially with this Blackthorn, but that is just what a build looks like. Going through the builds or the items specifically, Stormseeker, not really great. I think it, it does have some fun to it in terms of you could build this and have it be like your only attack speed item. And you'll have a ton of attack speed based off of it. But I still think the value just isn't there enough. Equinox after the nerfs, I think feels bad. Especially in the jungle. Because you're not getting a ton of that like 1v1 sustain. Most of the damage from Equinox is now those back shots. And yes, you still can get those. But a lot of the time, if they have Blackthorn, they just do more damage than you do. And your sustain doesn't matter enough. And then if you go into lanes, you can still die. Because it's really hard to get auto attacks off. So I think Equinox is, is meh. Blackthorn we already talked about, really good. Executioner, if you're playing an auto attack god, Kali, Baka, stuff like that, Executioner is always going to be good. Shadow Drinker, still slightly under the point of balance, especially when you compare it to Blackthorn now. It's like, Blackthorn is just, kind of just invalidates a lot of other items. Soul Eater, not a great first item IMO, but it's a very good second item, especially pairing it with Blackthorn. Or pairing it with even like Jotuns if you're still a big Jotuns fan. So Soul Leader is still very, very good. Frostbound, I think another insanely good item in the jungle. I actually think 
Frostbound is underbought in the jungle, while Blackthorn is overbought in comparison. I think there's a lot of games where Frostbound should be bought and they just opt for Blackthorn just because it's cooldown, 10% cooldown. But I think Blackthorn is phenomenal too. Atalanta's bow can be good. It's again, if you want a flat pen option, most of the time you want Soul Eater or you want like Brawler's anti-heal. And then to be fair, a lot of builds right now really only have one flat pen item and it's just the Soul Eater. So Ada's just feels meh. Yones we already talked about. Hydras we talked about a little bit. Very good item still. Yes, the damage is a little bit lower than before they nerfed it, but it's still good. Runeforged. Unfortunately, it, it's just falling down because of how good the other hammers are, uh, namely these two. Is it good? Yes. Is it good enough to be bought? Probably not. I, I think it's just... Like, it's fine, but it's not good enough. Blade of Boomerang, maybe a Baka item. Like, as a very first Baka item, getting instant power, attack speed, crit, and then if you get more auto attacks, you get more crit chance and movement speed. So for the most part, I, I just think it's... Meh. And that's what I think a lot of jungle items are right now. They're just meh. Aussie is not a very good jungle item at all. Dawnbringer, horrible item, especially comparing it to the other hammers, the worst by far. Brawler's Beatstick, very, very good item right now. There's so much healing in the game. Brawler's does a ton of power, has a ton of pen. I think in some games, Blackthorn into Brawler's is your best option, but a lot of people just kind of default to Blackthorn into Soul Eater because it's more cozy because you're getting that extra 10% cooldown and flat sustain, not flat pen. But I think Brawlers is insane. Cat Club, horrible. Very bad. Horrible stats. Good passive though and good aura. Devs, not a jungle item. Demon Blade, are you playing a crit god and you don't want to be like a one-shot crit god? Demon Blade can be fine. Sekhmet's, realistically, I don't think it's that bad. It's just so expensive. Like you can compare this to Blackthorn. Like, I mean, even compared to Dawnbringer, it's the same cost. The stats slightly better than Dawnbringer, but barely. And then the passive is just like a one-time proc thing in fights, which, eh. Vital Amplifier, it's like an Alma item. Unless I'm just forgetting uh, an assassin that can build it, I, I just don't think it's very good. Hastened, I'm very much of the opinion that Hastened is one of the worst items in the game. And it's a, a crutch item for nearly every god. Unless you're playing Vimana or Kali, you should not buy this IMO. The stats are so bad. You're better off just getting like a different item to just burst them more than your sticking potential. But like Kali and Vimana are like two exceptions because of just how OP their base kits are. Especially when you go late game, you don't really care about one shotting. You just want slightly more sticking potential. So yeah, straight edge, insane. This item is crazy good. I buy this every game my jungle. I'm not trolling every game. Transcendence, I'm going to say it feels bad now. The nerf to it just makes it worse when it was already just like a meh item. I'm I'm really not building this very much at all. I think it's just, just replaced by the Blackthorn Hammer. Dominance, not good in the jungle. Erendite, kind of on the cusp. It, it just feels bad because it doesn't have any pen. So like your first couple items are flat pen items. You, then like your third, fourth, fifth item are like straight heart Heartseekers, Crushers, percent pet items that increase your damage. Erendite doesn't fit that niche at all. It's also not like Blood Forge, which kind of gives you that snowballing potential in team fights. So it doesn't ever really feel great. But I don't think it's a bad item. It's just, I don't know where you're building it really. Rage again, if you're playing a crit god, rage can be good. Crusher, I've always been a fan of Crusher just because I like the attack speed on it, but it has a tough time fitting itself in a lot of builds right now because usually you're just choosing Heartseeker over it. But if you have no attack speed in your build and you need a little bit more, I think Crusher can feel really good. Titan's Bane, if Serrated wasn't as good as it was, we'd be talking about Titan's Bane being OP. Titan's Bane is very, very good, but so is Serrated Edge. So like coin flip over which OP item do you want? Crimson Claw, not a jungle item at all. Silver Branch, not really a jungle item at all. Maybe if you're building the Stormseeker item, it can be good, but I think outside of that, not really. Bloodforge, if you're snowballing a fight and you want to like 1v5, it's very good. Kin Size, Kali, Auto Attack Nem build, Baka build, stuff like that, it can be really good. Dualities, horrible, horrible item. It is so bad. This item is so bad. Horrible. So bad. Heartseeker, absolutely insane. Kind of like a must buy for 99% of assassins, if they're auto attack assassins. And then Sphinx's Bobble, horrible item. Deathbringer, are you a crit god? Can be good. Looking at a few more items. Odibo, it's like an auto attack only item. Kali, stuff like that. Toxic Blade is not good at all. Some survivability items that you're looking at. Magi's, Spirit's Robe, a Spirit Robe, Mantle. Some other can be good. Like if you're playing like a Gilg Jungle Stone of Binding, Void Shield can be good on some hybrid junglers, especially with how good Blackthorn is. But that's kind of what it's looking like for jungle builds again. You want just a really simple build that you can go in most games. I would go something like I, tier one, Blackthorn, and then Pots, and then go into Protector, 
Blackthorn, Soul Leader, Serrated, Hydras, and Heartseeker. Something like this would just be insane. And you can do this on most gods, most ability gods. Feels very, very good. That's the jungle build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The little jungle guide. If you guys have any questions about top gods to kind of be playing with these builds, let me know down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.